Hawaii's most active volcano has done it again. On the afternoon of August 22, 2025, the ground at the summit of Kilauea shook, vents split open inside the Halemaumau crater, and fountains of lava soared into the sky. Some bursts reached nearly 325 feet high, sending arcs of molten rock flashing against the clouds. For hours the volcano put on a display of raw power, before the eruption came to an abrupt end just before dawn. This marks the 31st eruptive episode at Kilauea since December of 2024, a pace of activity rarely seen anywhere on Earth. Each episode has lasted less than a day, but together, they're transforming the landscape at the summit, filling the crater floor with new sheets of lava and constantly rewriting the story of Hawaii's youngest and most restless volcano. At exactly 2.04 p.m. Hawaiian Standard Time, monitors at the USGS Hawaiian Volcano Observatory recorded the start of vigorous lava fountaining. Within minutes, the northern vent was sending fire and molten rock high into the sky, up to 325 feet. That's taller than the Statue of Liberty. Other vents weren't far behind. Central vents were measured at 60 to 100 feet tall, while southern vents spurted lower, closer to 30 feet. Even so, combined, the activity poured an estimated 10.9 million cubic yards of fresh lava into the summit crater. At the peak of activity, lava was gushing out at about 240 cubic yards every second. To put that in perspective, imagine three Olympic swimming pools being completely filled in under a single minute. That's how fast this eruption episode was producing molten rock. And then, just as suddenly as it began, it ended. At 2.52 a.m. on Saturday, August 23rd, the fountains sputtered out, leaving behind a glowing, cooling crater floor and a lingering haze of volcanic gas. If you were standing anywhere near Hawaii Volcanoes National Park that evening, you would have seen the sky lit up in shades of orange and red. At night, the fountains looked like fire hoses of lava, splashing onto the crater walls, throwing glowing rock fragments hundreds of feet into the air. Visitors in safe areas watched from the Jagger Overlook and other designated viewpoints, while cameras from USGS live streams captured every moment for the world to see. It was dramatic, but it was also carefully monitored. Kilauea's summit eruptions, as dangerous as they are, remain confined inside the crater, a natural bowl that has contained these repeated outbursts since late 2024. But for scientists, each episode is part of a larger puzzle. Why is Kilauea erupting in this stop-and-start rhythm? Why does it produce a towering fountain of lava one day, then go silent for a week, only to erupt again just as fiercely? That's the story we're exploring in this episode. The facts of this latest eruption, the science behind Kilauea's activity, the risks it poses to people living on the island, and the cultural meaning it carries for native Hawaiians. Because Kilauea isn't just a volcano, it's a living, breathing force of nature that has shaped Hawaii for centuries. And it's showing us, once again, that it's far from quiet. Kilauea isn't just another volcano. It's one of the most active volcanoes on Earth. For centuries, it's been in a near-constant state of change, sometimes with quiet lava flows creeping downslope, other times with violent fountains and explosive episodes. Scientists describe it as Hawaii's restless child, the name itself, Kilauea, comes from the Hawaiian word meaning to spew or to spread, a perfect description of how this volcano behaves. So what makes Kilauea erupt? It all starts with the Hawaiian hotspot. Deep beneath the Pacific plate, a plume of hot mantle rock rises toward the surface. This plume has been fixed in place for tens of millions of years, while the Pacific plate slowly drifts northwest over it. That movement is what created the Hawaiian island chain, each island marking a different stage in the journey over the hotspot. Kilauea, on the big island, is the youngest of them all. It still sits right above the plume, and that constant supply of heat and molten rock is what drives its near-constant activity. When fresh magma rises, it collects inside reservoirs beneath the summit. Think of them like underground chambers, feeding molten rock upward through cracks and vents pressure builds. When that pressure becomes too much, it finds a release. At Kilauea, the summit vent, Halemaumau crater, 
is where that pressure has been breaking through again and again since December 2024. But what's unusual this time is the pattern. These aren't long, continuous eruptions like we've seen in past decades. Instead, scientists are recording episodic bursts, lava fountains roaring to life for 12 to 24 hours, then shutting down completely. A week later, the cycle repeats. It's almost like the volcano is taking deep breaths, exhaling massive amounts of magma and gas in short bursts, then pausing before the next release. Gases are a huge part of this story. The lava inside Kilauea is packed with dissolved gases, mostly water vapor, carbon dioxide and sulfur dioxide. As the magma rises, pressure drops, and those gases escape violently, like opening a shaken soda can. That's why we see towering fountains. It's not just molten rock being forced upward, it's gases blasting their way out of solution, carrying lava high into the air. The latest eruption released a huge plume of sulfur dioxide, creating VOG, or volcanic smog, that drifted downwind across parts of the Big Island. For people living nearby, that means air quality alerts, scratchy throats, and hazy skies. For scientists, it's a reminder that these eruptions aren't just beautiful, they're hazardous. The USGS keeps constant watch with seismometers, GPS stations, gas monitors, and satellite imagery. Before this latest eruption, instruments picked up clear warning signs, Tremors beneath the summit inflation of the ground as magma filled underground chambers, and spikes in gas emissions right before the vents opened to the untrained eye, the eruption seemed sudden. To volcanologists, it was expected. One more pulse in a pattern that's been playing out for months. So here's the big question. What does this cycle mean for the people of Hawaii? The eruptions are confined to the summit right now, but history shows us that Kilauea can, and does, send lava far beyond the crater. Entire communities have been destroyed in past eruptions. For now, this latest eruption remains confined to Halemauma'u Crater. No homes are threatened and no evacuations have been ordered, but the risks are real. Sulfur dioxide continues to pour out of the summit, drifting into communities downwind. Glassy volcanic fibers known as Pele's hair can fall from the eruption plume, sharp enough to irritate skin and dangerous to breathe and the crater itself remains unstable, with steep walls, hidden cracks, and the constant potential for collapse. That's why scientists and park officials continue to urge caution. Hawaii Volcanoes National Park has safe viewing areas, but visitors are reminded to stay on marked paths and respect closures. The best way to see this eruption remains through the USGS live streams and updates, which provide a safe window into the heart of the activity. Kilauea's current pattern of eruptions, brief but powerful, reminds us just how alive this volcano is. Since December 2024, we've seen 31 episodes like this. Each one has been different in its details, but together, they show a system that is restless, unpredictable, and constantly in motion. It's easy to think of these eruptions as isolated events, but they are part of a much longer story, the story of how the Hawaiian Islands were born, and how they continue to grow. Every surge of lava, every plume of gas, every glowing fountain is part of the process of building new land in the middle of the Pacific. Standing at the edge of the crater, watching fountains of molten rock arc against the night sky, it's impossible not to feel awe. This is the Earth at its most raw and powerful, creating, destroying, reshaping itself before our eyes. For Hawaiians, Kilauea is more than geology. It is Pele, the goddess of fire, reminding everyone of her presence. For scientists, it is a living laboratory, teaching us about magma, pressure, and the forces that build our planet. And for the rest of us, it is a humbling reminder. Earth is alive, and its power is beyond anything we can control. Kilauea is erupting again, and as long as it does, the world will be watching.